Hey, what's up, high levelers? In this video, you will learn how to take payments inside your forms in Go High Level. So let's dive in and see how you can do that. All right, so we're going to head over to Sites and then under Forms and Builder, this is where you see all your existing forms. You can, of course, choose to create a new one from a template or from scratch. I already have a form where I want to integrate the payment. So let's go ahead and choose that one right here. Once my form has opened up, I'm going to scroll down a little bit where I want to add the payment thing. So what we'll do is click on this plus icon right here, scroll a bit down, and then you see this payment element right here. Just drag that where you want it. And then this will be added right away. Now, in order to customize this, I'm going to click on this payment element, and then I'm going to make sure that it is turned to live mode if you want to start taking payments right away. Now, we have some options where we can customize stuff. So as you can see, it says payments right here. We can customize it. So whatever makes sense for you, you can add that in right here. Then you can also add a short label right here, which basically shows up like this. And then we have the payment fields. Now, if you want to take a specific amount of payment, you will have to turn this on and then enter the amounts here. You can choose to keep one. And then you will see this other amount thing here. You can easily disable that. So let's say you only want to take like $5. I mean, it's very less for a photographer, but let's say we add like $500 right here. I'm going to turn that off. So now they can only pay $500. That will be the default option. So they will choose that, enter their details, and we'll get $500. Now, if you turn this off, what happens is it allows the customers to add in any kind of amount. Now, this could be a perfect use case for donations or similar use cases. But of course, in this case, we have to turn this on and take a specific amount. Then if we scroll down, this placeholder thing is if you have this turned off and you can say enter any amount or something like that. But if you have this turned on, we do not need this placeholder. And at the end, we have this footer info. If you want to add this here, that's perfect. If not, you can also hide it. And that is your payment element right inside the forms and you are fully equipped to take payments right away. This can really help you accelerate the process and get those payments within a very few steps instead of having to go through the conventional method, which is where you submit a form, then you take them to one step or two step order form. So it basically increases the friction in some use cases that might work. But in this case, if you want to take payments right away, this can be a really helpful feature for you. And once you start taking payments, these will show up as usual under transactions under your payments tab. All right, so that was all about it. I hope this video provided some value. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you.